my boys and girls on fire. I trust you've been rocking in a big grand style. You've been excelling, making God proud as you should always do. Fantastic. Do you know there's a festive season around the corner? And I am so excited. I want us to experience this festive period together. Do you know what festivity I am talking about? Do you? To help prepare to celebrate in a grand style, we'll be starting a new series today. Should I give you a clue? It's the reason why God sent him to the world, Jesus Christ, I mean. He made a huge sacrifice that can never be repaid nor appreciated enough. So we all want to be part of God's family, right? Did my clue help you? Was it really helpful? So let me see if you guessed correctly. What are we talking about? Yes, it's Easter. Did you guess correctly? Good job. In the next couple of weeks, we'll be learning about the Easter story, the events that took place before Jesus Christ was crucified, his resurrection, and the significance of Easter. I am sure you all know why Easter is important, why we celebrate it, why we take the communion. What does the communion even mean? That is what we're going to be learning about today. I am so eager to learn about these things. I sure hope you are too. Today, we'll be learning about a very important event that took place before Jesus Christ was crucified. Everybody was so excited. They thought the Messiah that would save them had come. We're learning about the triumphal entry. Before then, get up my boys and girls on fire. Let us praise this best king ever.
to sing this beautiful song to God, telling Him how holy He is, telling Him how great He is, the ancient of days, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the ancient of days. He's the Holy One. He's the only friend that we have. Like the Bible says that we are no longer servants, but we are friends. He's our Savior. He's Jesus. Let's worship Him as we tell Him how holy He is. Mrs. Adedayo told us earlier today, we'll be starting with the triumphal entry. Say after me, the triumphal entry. Oh, how I love parade! Do you know what a parade is? Do you? Yes, a parade is when you have a small or large group of people walk together, followed by a marching band, floats and large balloons. When I hear there's a parade, I'm usually excited. My heart pumps so, so fast. A parade is usually done to open special events like March Pass and to honor important people like commissioners, governors, senators. Can you see what I have here? Flags, noisemakers, trumpets, Whistle and talking drum. I know you don't have some of these things, but I need you to get something you can noise with joyfully. 
I want us to imagine we're watching a parade. So you need to put on your imagination cap right now. Put on your imagination cap. We're going to imagine. Imagine we just won a competition and our representatives are going to be awarded. So let's call it um, an award ceremony. Yes, an award ceremony. So as I describe the parade and our representatives are coming out, I need you to wave your hands, scream, shout with so much joy. Are we ready? Are we ready? Don't forget what I'm imagining. Listen, listen. I can hear the sound of the band. It's leading the parade. Behind the band, floats are carrying lots of important people. I can see our commissioner. I can see the governor. I can see the senator, the mayor of the city. As they pass by, all the guests begin to smell. And finally, here comes our representatives! Woo! Our heroes are here! Woo! 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 I'm so excited! Oh my god! Then the parrot moves on down and the sound of the band reduces and finally the ceremony is over the parade is over that was so much fun i told you earlier i love parade a lot because it's so much fun hmm. so you can sit now my boys and girls on fire something like this happened over 2,000 years ago, in a city in Jerusalem, a king came visiting the city and the people in the city lined, hoping to see the king. The king rode on a small donkey. So the people shouted, holding their palm branches, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Do you know who that king was? Yes, his name is Jesus. Today, remember the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem and the people were cheering and shouting. So I also need us to do the same thing. I know we don't have our palm branches, but we can use our palm. So I need you to say this after me. Don't forget your waving, your hands. Are we ready? Hosanna, Hosanna! Yay, Jesus! Hosanna, Hosanna! Yay, Jesus! Hosanna, Hosanna! Yay, Jesus! That was good. Dear Jesus, our voices joined with the voices of people in Jerusalem so many years ago to praise you. We say, Hosanna! 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 I love it when we have to memorize God's word and promises. When we have his word in our heart, we just have to excel and be high flyers to the glory of God. That being said, soldiers of Christ, get up on your feet. It is time for a Bible memorization and I'm super excited about this one. Our memory verse can be found in the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. I know some of us are already familiar with this verse of the scripture. If you do not, Join us, let's learn it together. You say it first after me, and then we'll say it together. Are you ready? Are you ready, my soldiers, for Christ? Okay, now. For God so loved the word, that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Can we say that again, using our hand motion right now? Are you ready? Are you ready? John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal lives. Can we do that again? John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Can we do it one last time? Good job. Are you following with your hand motion? Okay, now let's do it together. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Do me a favor. Keep practicing till we meet next week. It's Bible reading time! Yay! I love reading and studying the Word of God. I trust you do too. I'm sure you all want to know that portion of the Bible where the triumphant entry can be found. It can be found in the book of Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11. Let's open our Bibles to this portion of the scripture. Let me help you find Matthew in a jiffy. Matthew is in the New Testament. It is the first book in the New Testament. It is after the book of Malachi, which is the last book in the Old Testament. And before the book of Mark. Matthew is one of the four books of the Gospel. It tells the story of Jesus and all that happened while he was here on earth. Have you found the book of Matthew? You are there, right? Let's read out loud and clear. Matthew chapter 21 verse 1 to 11 And it says, As they all approached Jerusalem, they came to Bethphage. It was on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent out two disciples. He said to them, Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her cloth will be with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The owner will send them right away. This took place so that what was spoken through the prophet would come true. It says, Say to the city of Zion, See, your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. He is riding on a donkey's colt. The disciples went and did what Jesus told them to do. They brought the donkey and cloth. They replaced their coats on them. Je then Jesus sat on the coats. A very large crowd spread their coats on the road. All the cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Some of the people went ahead of him, and some followed. They all shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up. The people asked, Who is this? The crowd answered, This is Jesus. He is the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. a big and important question for you today. How can you worship God? You all are correct. You can worship God by singing to Him, praying, studying the Bible, and showing godly character. But the best way to worship God is by giving Him all of you. What did I say? By giving God all of you. Now say this out loud. I give God all of me. You should always sing to God as worship flows through you and out of your heart. God loves you and loves to hear you worship so much. So the question is, when you sing to him, should you now sing negative songs that do not glorify God? Mm, no, I don't think you should. You shouldn't 
sing songs that don't give God glory. When you wave your hands in worship, it shows God how much you want to be close to Him. Everywhere your feet take you, you should worship God even if you don't feel like it. You should only dance to glorify God. So, as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the people laid out their clothes and palm branches worshipping the best king. They bowed down shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They left all they were doing, acknowledging Jesus as the Messiah, as the one and only true king. Many of the people in Jerusalem did not join them, but these people welcomed Jesus, acknowledged him. They honored and worshipped him. Today I need you to decide to give God all of you, not just some of your days, but every day. Honoring, worshipping and putting God first. Are you ready to give God all of you right now? Jesus wants you to worship him and give him your all. Why not give him your heart today? As you make this important decision today, your heavens are rejoicing and cheering you. Yes, they are and I'm super excited too. So now let's pray. Jesus, we adore you. We crown you as our Lord and King. We confess and declare you our Lord and Savior. Today truly marks the day we begin to do only the things that please and glorify you. We give you our lives in service to you, not just for today, but always. Amen. Wow, that was an awesome experience. Remember to walk in the consciousness that God, you have given God all of you now. It's a brand new you now. Go forth and excel. Go forth flying high. Can you see all the balloons I have here? In each of the balloons, there's a message for us. But for us to know the message in each of them, I'll have to bust each of them open. But I'll need your help. When I bust the balloons, I'll read out the messages they have in them, one after the other, and you would help me act it out. Easy, right? Are you ready? Boys and girls on fire, are you ready? All right, let's do this. Okay, let's read out the message. Here it says we should jump. Now, I'll jump from my end and you also jump from your end. You keep jumping until I tell you to stop. Now, let's do this. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Yes, you are doing great. And now stop. Wow, now let's bust the second balloon and see the message it has for us. Here it says we should shout. Are you ready? First, I need you to clear your throat <coughs> because we are going to shout. One, two, go! Shout! Ah! Great! Now stop! Let's go on. What does this balloon have for us? Here it says we should wave. Now let's wave together. Keep waving until I tell you to stop. And stop. Let's continue. What message does this balloon have for us? Here, it says we should dance. Now, I want to teach you a very easy dance step. Make sure you dance along with me. Are you ready? Let's do this. Great, you are doing absolutely great. Now, stop. Let's continue. Here it says we should wave again. Let's wave again. All right. 
next up, let's move on to the last balloon. Here, it says we should shout. Are you ready to shout one more time? Of course, clear your throat. <coughs> Again. <coughs> and now let's shout together. Great, awesome. You did absolutely great. And I'm sure you had as much fun as I did. Don't stop praising God with your actions by giving him your all. All right, guys? Bye.